The story of Jacob where he wrestled with God and he wouldn't let go until God blessed him. Are you still wrestling with God about February the 3rd? No. Oh no. I've actually I've never wrestled with God about February 3rd. Um, I've always put that in God's hands and have a great peace about it. I want those who are left behind if February 3rd happens. I want them to, to have peace with that too. Mm -hmm. And to know, I mean, even through the prayers, when we pray and we believe God is going to do it, if when He chooses to do it His way, and if that way is to call me home, we have to accept that. Mm -hmm. And we have to have peace with that. And we have to go on and minister that Mm -hmm. to people also, just like in Hebrews in the faith chapter where there were those whom God delivered right. and there were those whom God didn't, that they died believing. Um, so we have to use whatever he gives us right. as a way to minister to people. We have to accept that from the Lord. Last night when we had your prayer vigil, I'd really prayed about what to share. And you know, when you look at Esther, and how they prayed and Esther was released. And that was, I mean, that's so exciting and all the people and it's a great victory yes. book. And right now I feel like this is a great drama and the whole, I mean, the whole world's watching this unfold. Yes. And you know, God has shown me that he is the producer, the director. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you have the star role. You have the lead role. Well, I don't know. <laughs> and we're all supporting cast. But it's basically, it's in God's hands. Yes. And with Esther, there was uh, deliverance for the people. Yes, for the people. Right. Wow. But there are times when it doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. And so we talked about that last night in the main prison because it's so important. I said, I gave a word from you that you want us to glorify the Lord in this. Um, as you think about February 3rd, mm -hmm. and we all are praying. We're praying that it's favor. We're praying for release. Yes. Um, what is it that you'd like to say if you do choose to be with Jesus on February? You don't choose it, but it happens <laughs> that you're with Jesus on February 3rd. What would you like to say to, to those of us that would be um, just grieving because we're going to miss you so much? I want to say thank you for just, I love you first. I love you guys. You, your prayers that you lifted up all the time that undergirded me through this is, is part of what God used to, to keep my joy level mm -hmm. just skyrocketing. Um, and it couldn't have been done without the prayers. It couldn't have been done without that kind of support. And I'm still, I'm still going to be here in spirit with you. I'm still going to be here in, in the hearts. And I'm going to be up there seeing what's going on now. I'm going to be in that arena with all the rest of them, rooting you on while you're down here still going through it. You know, I'm going I'm to be rooting you on and applauding when you make it and helping you when you kind of, kind of, you know, are going through hard times. So. I mean, we're still going to be together, and I'll see you again one day. Um, there's just so much. Is, yeah. There's more, but let's, yeah, we can there's move. so much more. I mean, so many people have affected my life in so many ways. You know, I, re I remember um, back in 92 when Kathy Ryan she wrote to me, and, and I was just learning about the refiner's fire, and Kathy Ryan wrote to me, and she said, Carla, I'm praying for you, and this is what I'm praying for you, and you may not like it, but I'm going to tell you what it is anyway. <laughs> she said, I'm praying that God will just stick you right in the middle of that Ooh, fire and yeah. just turn it up and just really put it to you. And it was so neat because that's what I was going through at the time. God was 
putting me through the refiner's fire, and he was teaching me about that, and he was, he was taking me deeper, and he was bringing all of this junk up, and he was showing me how to, how to go through that. I don't know. I, it, it was wonderful, and Kathy Ryan was bold enough to step out and say, "This is what I'm praying for you. This is what you need in your life." And that's love, you know. That's mm-hmm. loving a sister and not being scared to, to you know share un- uncompromisingly what God has put on your heart with somebody. And Mary, oh gosh, Mary, she, her way of expressing herself, so she is so free in the spirit. And when she came in here that first time, and we did those little clay vessels, it was so awesome. I mean, first she danced around in the spirit. And she was doing like what when God, as he, she was doing what she thought God would be doing as he was creating the world. And I just sat there in awe of how free in the spirit she was. And then she shared about God the creator. And that helped me to get a deep, deep revelation of the Creator, He is inside every one of us. You know, God, His creative nature is inside every one of us. And we can create just like He can. And it just came so alive to me. Every time Mary comes, just the way she expresses herself and she helps us to take the clay and to take different things and to just shut our eyes and to let God create what's going on down inside of us, you know, what he's doing inside of us to bring that out and create it with our hands and show it and share about it unashamedly, you know, and to see how us women shared about the pain and the guys yes. kind of held back yes. on that one. That was so I was wonderful. That <laughs> really touched down. They skipped over the pain. Right. <laughs> Went right into the victory. <laughs> Boy, that's, where, that's what we all want to do. Is it, right now, it is, I mean, it's it? just like, yes, we just want to move. But it really, it's the pain in our life. Yes that brings us into a deeper place with the Lord. I know we talked about this in the other video we did. Uh, We talked about the fact that it's really the pain that presses us into Him and where we really get to know Him. Mm -hmm. And Paul prayed that, that he could share in the fellowship Mm -hmm. of his suffering. Suffering, yes. And Carla, through what I've been going through recently with you, I have a new understanding of God the Father. Because I think of how God the Father knew the Son's execution day Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and how perfect that Son of God was and how He loved His Son. And as I was thinking about that the other morning, I was walking and I I just said, I'm sorry, God. (laughs) You know, I'm so sorry that you suffered that. And and yet I know it was for us. For us. And I know I wouldn't be thinking that way if I wasn't where I am with you today. So I thank you for the honor of walking with you. And I can, you'll never know, you know, till you get to eternity, the number of wives that you have touched in a, in a little death row cell mm-hmm. in Gatesville, Texas. I mean, it's just incredible.